hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to change a selected checkbox background and text color in a grid view control using JavaScript now after reload the browser now I'm selecting the checkbox control in this grid view control Jack notice Charan Peter the background and text color has been changed now if I unselect, see, that's it. I have used JavaScript to change the selected checkbox background and text color in a grid view control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice in this browser, I have already binded a table from the database in this grid view control. Now my aim is that first I will add a new column with a checkbox control in this grid view control. After that I will add the javascript functionality the selected checkbox row I want to change the background and text color also. Let's switch over to the ASP.NET Visual Studio and this is a source page which contains the header tags H1, H2 horizontal line and one grid view control. And I have binded the grid view control from the code behind. If you don't know how to bind the data from database into a grid view control, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get my channel ASP.NET playlist. So let's switch over to the source page. The first part is we'll add a new column with a checkbox control. In the grid view control, I'm adding the columns. After that, I'm adding template field inside this template field adding item template now let's add the checkbox control open toolbox here is the checkbox control after adding the checkbox control now let's check the output the checkbox control is binded into this grid view control or not. I am reloading the browser link. And here we got a new output with a checkbox control in this grid view control. Now my next step is when I select the any checkbox control, the selected row I want to change the background and text color using JavaScript. So let's write the JavaScript snippet. I can switch back to the source code. In the header section of the title, I'm adding the script tag. I'm adding a function. Function checkbox row color the result if the result dot check. In the if condition, if the checkbox is checked, result dot parent node dot parent node dot style dot background color is equals to the background color I'm adding cyan semicolon and I also I want to change the text color instead of background color I'm adding color is equals to red else in the else part I'm clearing the background and text colors so instead of writing this code again just copy this part paste here I'm leaving this empty that's it we have finished the JavaScript functionality now we need to add this function in the checkbox control on click event double equals to this that's it we have added the javascript functionality to change the selected checkbox background and text color in a grid view control let's check the final results i'm reloading the browser link Now after reload the browser, now I am selecting the 
checkbox control in this grid view control jack notice charan peter the background and text color has been changed now if i select see that's it i have used javascript to change the selected checkbox background and text color in a grid view control